Welcome everyone to today's situation. Today's situation is a short daily show all about giving you the facts. Facts on important historical events that occurred on this day and the reason for their importance, scientific discoveries and their impact on humanity, famous birthdays, famous passings, technological discoveries and how they have advanced humanity. Hey, it's all about learning and having fun. So let's get started. April 1st is famous for April Fool's Day. April Fool's originates from, well, historically speaking, from around the world. Who would have thought that playing harmless pranks upon one's neighbors, friends, and family has been relatively common throughout history? Even in the city of Odessa, which is found in the country of Ukraine, it's an official public holiday. Other famous holidays on April 1st include International Fun at Work Day, although I haven't met someone that has fun at work yet, International Tatting Day, so get those needles and make some tatted lace. And National Burrito Day. You can have practical jokes, some fancy lace work, and a burrito to end your fun-filled day. Also, St. Stupid's Day is on April 1st. Now this is an interesting one that was created during the late 1970s. Its purpose is to unify society through a commonality that everyone shares some form of stupidity. There is also a parade for it in San Francisco. It includes costumes, flags, confetti, and a free lunch. Count me in. Important historical events for April 1st. In 527, the Byzantine Emperor Justin I. Justin I names his nephew Justinian I as co-ruler and successor to the throne. Now why is this important? Well, the guy titled Justinian I, his real name was Flavius Petrus Sabatius Lustanius Augustus. It kind of makes you wonder when he started telling people, no, 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 please call me Justin. He is famous for having a long name and because he ruled the entire Byzantine Empire by himself for that whole year. He wanted to revive the empire's greatness and reconquer the lands they had lost at the time. This is a reference image from Wikimedia Commons of what he possibly looked like on this mural. On this day, on April 1st in 1748, the ruins of Pompeii were rediscovered by the Spaniard Roque Joaquin de Alcubierre. Famous scientific discoveries on April 1st in 1952 include the Big Bang Theory, which was proposed in physical review by Ralph Alpher, Hans Beth, and George Gamal. Ralph Asher Alpher was a cosmologist who pioneered work for the early 1950s on the Big Bang model. The Big Bang nucleosynthesis and predictions of the cosmic microwave background radiation. Wow, what a mouthful. George Gamow was a theoretical physicist and cosmologist as well. He advocated for the Big Bang Theory, and he discovered a theoretical explanation of alpha decay by quantum tunneling. Hans Albrecht Beth was a nuclear physicist who made important contributions to astrophysics, quantum electrodynamics, and solid-state physics. He won the 1967 Nobel Prize in Physics for his work on the theory of stellar nucleosynthesis. On April 1, 1974, Ayatollah Khomeini called for an Islamic Republic in Iran. Why is this important? Ayatollah Sayyid Rola was a post-revolutionary leader. He led opposition to the Shah and his White Revolution beginning in 1963. The White Revolution was a far-reaching series of reforms in Iran launched in 1963, which lasted until 1979. The Shah at the time, Mohammad Reza Pahlavi, reformed the program which was built especially to weaken the classes that supported the traditional system. It consisted of several elements, including land reform, sale of some state-owned factories to finance the land reform, construction of an expanded road, rail, and air network, a number of dam and irrigation projects, the eradication of diseases such as malaria, the encouragement and support of industrial growth, enfranchisement of women, nationalization of forests and pastures, formation of literacy and health corps for rural isolated areas, and institution of profit-sharing schemes for workers in industry. The Shah sought to develop a more independent foreign policy and established working relationships with the Soviet Union and Eastern European nations. In subsequent decades, per capita income for Iranians greatly increased, and oil revenue fueled an enormous increase in state funding for those industrial development projects previously named. 
Wait, Ayatollah Khomeini was against all this positive progress? Was there an ulterior motive for Pahlavi? The White Revolution was actually an attempt by Pahlavi to remove the landlord's influence and create a new base of support among the peasants and working class. He wanted Iranian citizens to be able to live an educated and prosperous lifestyle. Then the truth came out. The land reform, which was the focus of the White Revolution, did what it was intended to do, weaken the nobles and landlords. In their place emerged a new group of commercial farmers and many previously large land-owning families, such as the Pahlavi family. They managed to renovate themselves into these commercial farmers. The lower class and peasants never actually acquired land. What ended up happening is eventually there were three groups. Prosperous farmers, small landowners, and village laborers. This sounds a lot like an attempt of trickle-down economic strategy that in reality does trickle up, not down. This exposure of truths, of government corruption and what the White Revolution truly was, led to the rise in popularity of Ayatollah Sayyid Ruola, as he was highly outspoken. Eventually, he became a member of the clergy and started to openly oppose the Shah and called for an overthrowing of his leadership. People saw him as a figure to rally behind. On April 1st, in 1934, Clyde Barrow and Bonnie Parker killed two highway patrolmen, causing the public to turn on them. In 1976, April 1st, it was one of technological interest. On this day, Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs founded Apple Computer in the place where all dreams begin, the garage. On April 1st in 2001, in the country of Netherlands, it became the first country in the world to make same-sex marriage legal. Progress. April 1st, 2004, Google introduced Gmail for the first time. In April 1st, 1958, the hula hoop was invented by the company co-founder of Whammo, Arthur Spud Mellon. Famous birthdays? Sophie Germain, born in 1776, famous for her research in the elasticity theory and Fermat's last theorem. Toshiro Mifun, born in 1920, he was a famous actor and writer and known for his roles in Seven Samurai and Yojimbo. Wanari Matai, born in 1940, is an internationally renowned environmentalist and political activist. She became the first African woman to win a Nobel Peace Prize in 2004. Logan Paul, born in 1996, he is a famous YouTube star and he's known for his short video notoriety that started in Vines. Emperor Gosaga of Japan was born in 1220. Edgar Wallace, born in 1875, is the creator of King Kong. April 1st, famous passings. Eleanor of Aquitaine. She was one of the most powerful women during the Middle Ages. She married King Louis VI of France and became Queen of France and took part in the Second Crusade. The annulment happened soon after and she then became engaged to Henry II of England. One of the five children was Richard of the Lionheart. Scott Joplin. Known as the King of Ragtime, he created well-known musical compositions titled The Maple Leaf Rag and The Entertainer. Charles R. Drew is an important surgeon and medical researcher who researched the process of blood transfusion and developed techniques for blood storage including large-scale blood banks early in World War II. Marvin Gaye, one of the most important Motown singers of the 1960s, passed on this day, but not without leaving us with the album MPG, with famous songs like What's Going On, Let's Get It On, and Sexual Healing. This has been today's situation. Thank you for joining us. See you next time.